What's going on YouTube? It's Mike here. Today guys, in this video, we're going to be taking a look at some sneak peeks that Apple's giving us at iOS 7 and the next version of OS X 10.9. Now the reason why I wanted to make this video is because we're just about three days away from WWDC uh, 2013, actually we're exactly three days away um, from the show and I know I've made a lot of videos about it and it is Worldwide Developers Conference um, from Apple and one of the two main, the pretty much the two main things that um, Apple's going to be showing off at WWDC is iOS 7 and the next version of OS X which is supposed to be 10.9 and pretty much the uh, newest thing in the news for WWDC is that there have actually been some revealings of iOS 7 and also the next version of OS X 10.9 and what I mean by revealings is uh, actually in the art center where the show is going to be held where they're presenting to all the developers and stuff uh, they actually they they are already showing the banners like people went in and took pictures as you know they're preparing uh, a few days before all the banners throughout the hallways and stuff and they're seeing you know giant banners uh, with seven on them and giant banners um, with X on them seven referring to iOS 7 and X referring to OS X and so quite honestly this stuff is pretty cool especially to see it you know a couple days early in advance um, to really have a nice idea and kind of clue I guess you could say uh, as to what Apple's going to be showing us on Monday. Now taking a closer look, uh, we'll start with the iOS 7 here. As you can see, it's kind of like an all white background. And then we just have this flat and very thin uh, type of font looking 7. And it's quite interesting because Apple's never used a font like this before. And this, this is an unheard of font right here. Uh, it's not what Apple's been using. It's very thinned out. And the color scheme and the white background behind it um, just just the whole layout of that and no iOS. We're just seeing the number seven. So it kind of hints at it, it very well hints at the the flat thing that Apple's working on that's been rumored um, and is most likely going to be true too uh, from Johnny Ives perspective that uh, he will be working on iOS 7 or pretty much at this point has finished working on iOS 7 so that us uh, registered developers with our UDIDs are going to be able to check it out next week. Uh, so, you know, this looks a lot different if we're looking at previous year's banners, you know, iOS 6, iOS 5, they looked a lot different. This is like, this, it's just a 7, and it's nothing. There's no iOS, there's no iOS in front of it, there's no, you know, slogan under it, it's just a 7. So, I guess the idea, my, my perspective of this is Apple wants to really show off simplicity and flat, beautiful, elegant design, and this could really take... Um, iOS very far and when I first saw the picture I was like yep Apple hit the nail on the head with this one so this could be a very good thing now after looking at that banner that's been shown uh, we'll look at the other banner which is the uh, OS X one and as you can see we are we kind of have we don't have a just flat background we have kind of a wave background now keep in mind that every uh, OS X update there's usually a new uh, background and so this wave background will probably most likely be the default background that's all I could think of and probably what everyone would say and then we also have the X in the middle which is standing for OS X and just like iOS 7 and there's no iOS on that banner notice how with OS X all we're seeing is X and we're not seeing a 10.9 we're just seeing X and again the same font is being used the same thinness of the font it's not bold and the flatness of it also hints that Apple wants to also work on OS X because quite a, a couple of years ago, you know, they, they had said that they really wanted to bring together OS X and iOS and they did that with a lot of apps and like the layouts um, of OS X, you know, how you look through apps and folders and stuff like that on your Mac and they really wanted to bond the relationship so that people could get used to using uh, different Apple products with different experiences and kind of unify the experiences and looking between these two banners We could definitely see a lot more unifying and Flatness and it, it really tells us that Apple's not only gonna focus on iOS 7 and make that elegant and flat and awesome design But they're also going to be investing time into OS X uh, 10.9 which is a very good thing to hear because if you know Apple's going to be working so hard on iOS 7 and they've worked for uh, however many years to unify both uh, operating systems, you know, why not work on OS then? So it, it's good to know that Apple's, you know, also touching on OS X a lot. You know, 
the last couple WWDCs really haven't been all that about OS X itself, so... And even even with iOS 6 last year in WWDC, this this year, 2013, is going to give a huge opportunity for not only iOS, but uh, definitely OS X too. And it's, it's really going to, I think, in my opinion, and I probably speak for a lot of people too, that this is really going to blow some people away. So guys, that's pretty much it. Th those are the two main things, and that's what kind of wraps up the WWDC rumors here. This puts an end to it all. iOS 7 is confirmed. The flat design is pretty much confirmed. And it is good to know that as a bonus, OS X is definitely going to be playing along in this flat type of design. And we're, you know, I mean, we know now that, you know, it's all going to be flat and nice looking and elegant, but it's really going to be awesome to see what Apple has in store for us because I just have a feeling that Apple's going to pile a load on us if just some awesome new stuff next week. So stay tuned, guys. Obviously, uh, as soon as the conference starts, as soon as WWDC starts, um, I'm going to be probably even doing live coverage on my YouTube channel because I'll pro I think I get out of school early that day, actually. So I'm actually going to most likely be doing um, live coverage on my YouTube channel. We'll, I'll be reading a live blog or something, and I'm, I'll be doing live coverage of WWDC. So stay tuned for that. And if you guys like this video, please leave some comments below on your thoughts. What are your thoughts on uh, these new banners that have been seen? at the Art Center, and of course rate, give this video a thumbs up, and click the subscribe button below. Alright guys, that's it for this one, and I'll see you next week for WWDC. Peace.